Well, in three years, I doubled my NBA income in the marketplace. You hear what I'm saying? And I've never had a real job. But I got a mindset. Lesson number one. For you to get to that next level, here's what you need, information. You need to get information. No offense, I don't even watch TV. CNN don't pay my bills, okay? Power don't pay my bills. I don't even watch TV. I might catch a sporting event. I don't get mad about football game. I love to watch football, but I don't watch TV. Why? It's unproductive in my opinion. I get 24 hours a day just like Bill Gates. I get 24 hours a day just like Beyonce and Jay-Z. You get 24 hours a day, ladies and gentlemen. What do you do with your 24 hours? You need to get more information. In our coaching program, all we do is drop content nonstop. And people are like, wow, I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that. See, you don't even know what you don't know. How did you let me come from behind and clip you? Do you guys know the studies show, the better we look, the more money we make? Which means your website should pass the eyeball test. Your truck should pass the eyeball test. Your people should pass the eyeball test. You should pass the eyeball test. Everybody in this room has a promised land somewhere, but you can't be stuck on the city you like. You gotta hear God and go to your promised land. Your promised land might be Utah. Your promised land might be Minnesota. Your promised land might be Wyoming. Hear me clearly, you better use your money to get information and access, and you better be flexible because a real shark is flexible. Can we stop fronting and get real about this thing? And if I can do it, you can do it. I knew nothing about life. I knew nothing about business, but I had the right mindset, and I learned it through sports. And y'all gotta hear my story so you understand. I didn't even start on my college basketball team. I came off the bench. At the University of Minnesota, I came off the bench. But in my mind, you can bring me off the bench, but I'm an NBA ball player when you get through talking. When you get through, I'm an NBA ball player. And that's why I would walk around and say, you can't check me, you can't check me, you can't check me. If I was you, I would walk around every day and say, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. I declare it right now, I'm worth millions, I'm worth millions. I will receive my salary right now, but I won't accept it as my value. So whatever you receive right now, receive it, but don't you accept it as your value. Because there's more out here for you if you change your mindset. In my coaching program, I got a, a concept called the black tie effect. Oh, I wish I had more time. It's called the black tie effect. If you don't own your own tuxedo and go to at least six to 10 black tie events in your market, you suck. There's no better way for you to distinguish yourself as a top business leader in your area than to go to black tie events. I didn't say fundraiser, black tie events attract the top businessmen in your area. And what happens at a black tie event? You sit at a table and in America we ask two questions. What are those two questions? What is your name? And what do you do? What is your name? And what do you do? What would happen in your local marketplace? You became known as a philanthropist. What would happen in your local marketplace? You were known as being charitable. What would happen in your local marketplace if all the other business owners who are highly successful not only know your company, but they know you personally? Can I ask you a question? How many black tie events do you go to? When I stopped playing basketball, I had no money coming in. And all I would do is go to black tie events and be around highly successful people. And I would sit at the table. They would ask me my name. And the second question I was waiting for. But well, what do you do? Well, I'm a former NBA player, but now I'm a motivational speaker. And at those black tie events, you know they attract not only successful business people, they attract the good guys too. See, snake business guys who only care about money, they don't go to black tie events. People who go to black tie events care about the community. People who go to black tie events make a difference in their community. Let me tell you something. I noticed right away at the black tie events, these were the successful people that I wanted to know and I began to build leverage. I began to build a brand by building relationships with the top business people in my community because I was willing to go to black tie events. There's nothing more important you can do, business owner, than to buy you a tuxedo 
and go to black tie events because everybody in the building is going to ask you your name and they're going to ask you what you do. What would happen if your company became endeared to some charity in your community? Ladies, what better way is it to build the culture? Some of you wives, why don't you drive this? He's busy trying to make money. You drive the charity. You find the organization. And you make sure that your company is synonymous with some philanthropic area in the community. There's nothing better than changing a life. There's nothing better than blessing somebody who's less fortunate. I made a commitment of lifting the spirit of people who were trying to get to that next level. Start your business with charity. There's no better methodology than that. Never forget this, all great brands are built on passion. So before you build your brand, it's not about the color. It's not about the font. All great brands are built on passion. So can I ask you a question? What are you passionate about? See, if you're not passionate about anything, your marketing is going to be whole hum as well. Does that make sense? You can't build a great brand without passion. Let's take a look at Nike. Phil Knight built Nike and the brand out of passion. He loves to run and he couldn't find good running shoes. So he said, well, I'll just start a company and make some myself because a good runner needs to have good shoes. He's built an international brand based on passion. If you want to be a millionaire, you got to think like a million dollar person. You can't fake this thing. Y'all hear what I'm saying? You got to be legit in this game. You can't fake it to the NBA. You got to be able to ball out. You got to be able to hoop. You got to be legit. And in business, it's the same way. You got to be legit. So take your money and get some information in your head and then take some money and get access. I got three kids. And this is why you got to get access so you can make life easier for your kids. Well, ain't nobody do nothing for me. Oh, your mindset is jacked up. Ain't nobody do nothing for me, so I ain't gonna do nothing for my kids. You ain't thinking about your legacy. Right now, it's like a track meet. You're running a four by one, 100 meter dash. Four by one, and your baton is in your hand. And let me tell you something. I want you to run as strong as you can, as fast as you can, as hard as you can, and one day you're gonna get old. One day your knees gonna buckle. And your son gonna be right behind you. Your daughter gonna be right behind you. And at a track mate, they yell, stick. And you gotta make a successful handoff to the athlete in front of you. And that's your son, that's your daughter. So can you do me a favor? You gotta get on that track and run because the baton is in your hand right now. And to me, 50 grand ain't enough to live your dreams. To me, 80 grand ain't enough to live your dreams. Who's trying to live in that big house? Who's trying to live in that big car? Who's trying to retire with some real money in the bank? Ladies and gentlemen, you guys know the average American only has $1,500 in savings? You're a car accident away from going broke. Hear me closely. Don't sell product. Sell hopes and dreams. Don't sell product, sell hopes and dreams. Don't sell product again, sell hopes and dreams. I give myself away and blessings come my way. In your community, be charitable. In your community, be a giver. In your community, get to know the other givers and I promise you one thing, something's gonna happen to your heart, something's gonna happen to your culture, and the lagging indicator, something's gonna happen to your pocket.